Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and thank you for joining me today. I'm a UK Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator and today I have a simple tentfold card that is done in Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight and Emerald Envy. We have a colour challenge over on the Stamping for All group on Facebook. Um, I know I've mentioned it before but I'm a designer on there now. So go over there and there's about five or six of us and we play along with challenges every week. And today it's a colour challenge and they use using Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight and Emerald Envy. And I have used, instead of using Emerald Envy ink, I have used this from the Naturally Eclectic um, paper. I think with the new catalogue and all the new deals and everything you can get, a lot of people are forgetting that the annual catalogue is still gorgeous and is still current. So the paper stocks that are in there can still be used. So I've just used that as a light background. I've used it purely because it's watercolour, so it's a little bit of a lighter wash because otherwise they're three very, very dark colours. So I'm just going to put it together quickly for you now. It is so simple. So I've got Daffodil Delight, which is an A4 sheet of paper cut in half, and I've scored it already so that it's already just to fold into a tent fold card. Let me grab my bone folder. Okay, there we go. And then I just stuck this Emerald Envy on. It is an eighth of an inch shorter on either side. So when you cut it, you want to cut it a quarter of an inch shorter and then when you match it, you'll get that eighth either side there. So I'm just gonna grab my Tombow, which is here, and stick that down. And then I've done exactly the same with the white sheet. So the white sheet is again cut a quarter of an inch shorter than the Emerald Envy sheet so that it gets a one eighth of an inch frame around it. When you're layering on your cards and you're doing it with such a small layer around, it is much better to use Tombow because then you can position it. If you use Fuse or Snail, you're kind of stuck with where you've stuck it. But when you're doing this, if you use Tombow, you can move it and eye it up so it's in the right place. So there's my piece of Whisper White that's just going to sit in the middle. And like I said, it's only just shorter. So that's the one I'm going to do my stamping on. So I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap grid paper. There. Because this stamping goes off the edge of the card. And I'm using Melon Mambo and Daffodil Delight. These colours go lovely together. Like I said, I wasn't sure about the Emerald Envy, but once it's been finished, I, I do quite like it. So you want to grab this one. It's the Heartfelt Bloom set, which is a celebration set. And again, I was unsure about this set. I really was. I thought, I don't like it. Um, and I qualified for celebration, and I thought, well, go on, I'll get it. And I've got it, and now I'm using it. I really like it. I like the 3D elements that it adds to your pictures. I loved it in the Melon Mumbo because it really stood out. Really stood out. It was okay in the Daffodil Delight, but it wasn't as good as the Melon Mumbo. So I'm just taking it and I am running it up the side there. Like that. Just going to grab my stamp and scrub. You do need this handy for this project because we're switching colours. You could take a guess and put the Melon Mambo where you think the next one's going to go. But I'm not because I want to try and get them as close to each other as possible. So I don't want to have to be trying to squish it in. I'm just going to lay that up with Daffodil Delight. I always worry with stamp sets that are bigger than the um, pad as to whether I've got it all stamped up. I see a lot of demos. Hold it like that and do it that way. And that works just as well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Back onto my stamping scrub to change it for the Melon Mumbo. And you might notice that I'm being very biased because I think it looks better in the Melon Mumbo. I'm positioning my stamp with more of it over that section 
so you can see more of the Melon Mambo one. Because, you know, I'm biased and it looks pretty. There we go. The detail in this stamp set is amazing. It is so pretty. And I've seen people watercolour them in as well. So they've done them in a light grey or something like a Sahara sand. A lightish sort of colour that will just emphasis the detail and then they've watercolored them in or colored them in with their blends and they look amazing so I'm actually quite glad I got this set in the end there we go so there we are that's around there and all you want to do is just layer that straight on exactly the same as you did with the back put that on with your Tombow again I'm going to put it that way, I think, with that bit at the top. I don't know why. These flowers can't be the wrong way around, but for some reason I think they can be upside down. Very strange. There we go. So that's your background of the card done. Easy. Within seconds, that background. So what I'm going to do now is I've got some more of the designer series paper and I've got a piece of scrap white. So I'm just going to find my stamp set again and I'm going to use the thank you. The reason why I've done thank you with this one is because I think these are going to be my customer gifts for January. Um, I always make a customer gift and send a thank you card with all of my orders. So this will be the card that goes with my gift, I think, for January. Quite like it. it's so bright isn't it and colorful it is really nice after christmas to be having really bright colors around and the font is lovely okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to bring the scrap piece of paper back in and i'm just going to grab my heartfelt blooms again and the daffodil delight i'm going to ink that up and I am just going to stamp around the thank you just there. Only on the edge, but like that. Okay. Then what I did is I took my trimmer. So I'll just grab my trimmer. And I cut it so it was one inch. By two and a half inches. No, I might not have done. I might. Oh no, I know what I did. I did it three inches. That's it. And then this one, I cut at one and one eighth of an inch. Is that right? So just yeah, is it one and one eighth? Yes, it was one and one eighth. I do these things, and I never. Notice I'm going to go to one and three eighths because I think that looks pretty small. So one and three eighths by three and three eighths. Let's try that. I can always cut round it if it's wrong. No, I like that. I think I did do the one and two eighths rather than one and three eighths before because it had a smaller um, frame around it. But I quite like it like that. So I'm just going to stick that on the edge. And you'll notice that's a completely different colour to the outside because it's that watercoloured look. So it's quite nice. I'm just going to stick that with Fuse because that's what I've got handy. You could stick it with Tombow again. And put that on. And then I just dimensioned... Dimensioned? Is that a word? It is now. I dimensioned it up. <laughs> there we go and put that on there. How quick and simple is that? If you're doing a swap, you know, on stage, red is coming up, if you're doing any swaps, or if you are just doing thank you cards for customer orders, that is a really quick one. And you could use your um, blends in the Daffodil Delight and put some little gems underneath, or you could use the gold faceted gems, they would look quite nice. You could even put them in the, in the circle. I'm just leaving that as it is, I think it looks gorgeous. So there you go, and that is using a free set. So that's the Heartfelt Blooms. So if you really wanted to, if you bought the Daffodil Delight paper, the Daffodil Delight and the Melon Mumbo ink, 
and the Naturally Eclectic paper, you'd be getting close enough to winning this for free anyway, because you spend £45, you get this product free. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.